What's going on, guys? Legend in Two Games, day 21 without sports, but the marathon continues. Today, I want to get into some NBA topics uh, that were popping up earlier today on my feed in regards to the owners and players discussing possible reductions in salaries for players. Uh, for those that may not quite understand what that means or what they're hinting at, they're basically saying that either we're going to get this league up and running again very soon or we're not going to play at all for the rest of the year. And the reason that's significant is right now the owners are more than willing to continue the season with no fans in the stands. Yes, it'd still be a hit to their pockets. Yes, it would affect their bottom line. But ultimately, getting the players back on the court still allows them to fulfill their TV contracts and their negotiations with all their sponsors. On the flip side of that, players, either they're going to say, I'm willing to allow you to reduce some of my pay and just still sit at home and collect whatever I can over the next couple months, or they're going to say, I cannot afford to take that reduction, so let's hurry up and get back on the court. For the top and upper echelon players, it's not that big of a deal. The LeBron James, the, the Kevin Durant, um, you know, those guys, we know the Steph Currys, the amount of money they're making on and off the court, Kyrie Irving, all those guys, it, it won't matter if they do um, agree to this 20% 20 20 reduction um, in salary. It won't affect them, but it will affect those on a rookie scale contract, those on a veteran contract, those lower level guys that sit at the end of the bench that aren't household names, but do need that paycheck at this point. Um, especially if you're somebody who's been a journeyman and you've been on several teams, next year isn't guaranteed for you and you're trying to make sure you, you can collect as much as you can this year. So that is significant, like I said, from the standpoint of we're going we're gonna to find out pretty quickly if the league and the season will continue. Because if the players are not willing to take the reduction, uh, then that means they're going to have to be playing in empty arenas to make sure they are able to fulfill their contract and get everything that they signed on the dotted line for. On the flip side of that, if they say, I'm willing to take the reduction, then the owners, I think, are going to hold steadfast and say, you know what? We're not forcing anything back. You guys are going to take the reduction. We're going to pay you. And then it could also ultimately affect uh, their negotiations for the next collective bargaining agreement. So I think whatever takes place now, whoever feels like they were slighted or strong armed, it may hold a grudge moving forward for the next collective bargaining agreement. But either way, I think very soon we're going to find out if we're going to have basketball again at some point this year. Keep your fingers crossed. I would like to see the games come back, but I also understand that playing it and in this climate without fans in the arena, uh, traveling from state to state could still be very risky for a lot of these players, especially when you consider that we've heard about three different teams that had uh, players test positive for COVID-19. So stay tuned, guys. Legend in two games. Real fans, real talk. Day 21 without sports, but we're going to keep you guys updated. Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned in to Real Fans, Real Talk. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought.